What up? It's back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Um, sorry for not uploading much. Not that anyone gives a fuck. I want to give y'all a little, little bit of news. Um, before we get into these three videos we're gonna be reacting to today. I will let y'all know the first remastered, the first FNAF song, Final Nights, that I made has been remastered to instrumental. Um, vocals were recorded, but my microphone that I used to record music broke, so I, there's always something gotta be setting me back on your uh, music, of course. So I won't be able to record for a bit, just that microphone's broken, I'm using this. Y'all might hear background noise, uh, more easier, so please bear with me. And also, a FNAF 6 song is being worked on. Trash. Today we're gonna be reacting to Freddy.mov FNAF VHS tape. This was released by Nunzer, Nunzer. Haunted Memories Episode 1 is what it says. That's all it says in the description. And by the look of the thumbnail, I think I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> I should put a like on this video. This seems very underrated because this came out like 10 days ago. Th this guy deserves more. It's very good quality. I, th I recommend y'all check this guy out. And I don't know why I'm not subscribed. Subscribe. Let's just get into the video. Look at that, Fazbear Entertainment. Oh, why is it? Oh, there we go. Ready. Okay. Hold up. That's the type of stuff I like about VHS. That uneasy horror feeling. I'm sure you all seen this. This would have been a great re uh, VHS for me to react to. But I'm sure you all seen this video right here. Look at that. No eyebrows. Freaky eyeballs, no teeth. That guy right there. Fortnite. Music here. Surprise corner. What the fuck you flickering at? Oh. Uh -huh. What was that skeleton doing? He was just looking at his hand. That's how the FNAF movie eyes should be. Despite I like the red eyes, they weren't in there actually for a long time. First time I jumped to something. Look at this. This is under... This shit is underrated as fuck. Look how good this shit is. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Check this guy out. Despite me being underrated as fuck too. Check this guy out. Oh, y'all probably heard that movement, didn't y'all? I don't know how good the microphone is. Well, I do. I tested it, but... I hope it stays good. Uh, but damn. We're gonna definitely react to more of this guy on the channel. Because this shit... Already, just by seeing 1 minute and 46 seconds of his video, that's, that's fucking good. It looks so fucking, so well made. Oh, both the marionette and Freddy's music, that's crazy. What are they doing? Are they kissing, bruh?
used to play around on the playground. I didn't know what that said because I went by too quick. <laughs> okay. My favorite spot was at the old park with the swings and the big tree. We would spend hours there, just talking and dreaming about the future. Life was good, but then everything disappeared. During the birthdays at Freddy's, there was a man. He seemed so nice at first. He promised so many things. He said he would make our dreams come true. But it was a lie. He lured us away, one by one. We trusted him. We believed in him. But then he took it all away. William Afton, he stole our dreams, our futures. He took our lives. And now we are trapped, forever bound to this place, haunting these halls, unable to move. But we won't forget, and we won't forgive. We will make sure that he remembers what he did to us. This shit is so well put together. Alright, that was Freddy.mov. M-O-V. That shit was so good. Subscribe to this. No, I gotta put on notifications. I don't know why I'm not doing that. But yeah. Amazing. Hold up. <laughs> this deserves so much more, guys. Man. I'm iconic for my thumbs up. No, I'm not. All right, next video we're gonna be reacting to is Maintenance FNAF VHS by Phalox. This guy has, he's pretty quick at his uploads. He's, he's a fast worker. This one's uh, came out three weeks ago. I did add this to my watch list and I never just got to it for some reason, but gotta put a like on that and let's read that description. A part of Afton Robotics policy. All maintenance conducted must be documented in a video format to legally protect both you and the company. Oh uh, yeah, fun fact, this is actually a slight remake of my first ever FNAF VHS tape. A slight remake or a full on fucking remake? Okay, well, hey, let's get let's get into it already, hold up. Valox, we know what to expect from you, we know. We expect peak, and guess what? You deliver. Let's do this shit. Oh, let's see if that quality. Okay, I'm gonna be performing some maintenance checks on good old Freddy here, and hopefully we can check to that. see what parts are still working and can be sold for money, and what parts are gonna need to be scrapped. Bonnie and Chica have already been done. The balloon kit is vandalized. The oh, yeah. Scrapped entirely what? What? after. No, I'm sorry. Uh, what happened? The puppet is missing, but we'll find it eventually. That one's been around for a long time and can go for a lot at an auction. Anyways, let's power him on. Wait, bitch. That's not my fault. My fat fucking fingers. I, I made that joke way too many times. Hey, Valox. If you watch this, if you ever do, acknowledge me. You should let me voice act for you. I'm a very good voice actor. Okay, hold up. That's always good to see. I'll be using a console here to test the animatronic movements and joints. Let's start with his right arm. I thought bro was about to be like... Okay, perfect. Return the arm back to neutral and we can now check his left arm. Whoa, 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 okay. That might just be a little rusty from the getting caught on the hand. I think it's completely damaged now. Can't even return it. We can check on that later. Let's just continue the assessment. Bro was holding his hand there to bitch slap him. No. <laughs> Perfect. The motors are still in great condition there. How about okay. we move ahead now? Seems completely unresponsive. Let me power it all down and reset Maybe because it's fat fucking neck. No, I'm playing. This fat neck. <laughs> he doesn't have one. No offense. To anyone. Okay, I'm... Okay. I never moved the eyes. Maybe they're just loose?
Oh, oh god, oh. <laughs> Y'all know me. I don't jump much. Well, yes, I do. I have that. Thank you, Dashy. For putting the influence on my body to do that shit, you know. You do. I'm not trying to be like him, but it, I've watched him so fucking much that it's become a part of my natural humor process. <laughs> so please understand that. Someone tried hating on me the other day. Be like, bro's trying to copy you, Dashy. Motherfucker, no, I'm inspired. See, my intro is a, what up? It's Daiquiri. Well, Dashy is like, what up? It's Dashy. No, or screaming, I don't know. But stop. This is off topic of the tape. This shit made me jump. Scary. Um, pretty pretty good so far. Holy shit! I probably paused it at the worst time. So let's go back and. Forth. Oh my god! Oh my god! fails to um, make a good shit. Good shit. How do I say words? Um, never fails to make a good fucking video. Hold up. That shit scared the fuck out of me. It's also very fucking loud, too. The protagonist was always, is always just... I feel that for real. Hold up. Yo. Made me scream. I, I stopped. Probably threw up a gang sign right there. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! God! My Final video. Um, it's not showing me his name. Sil Trick. Sil Tricks. Uh, I forgot. We reacted to um three of his tapes or four of his tapes in one of my other videos. That got a fuck ton of views. Also because the bird was in. Why don't y'all love me for me? My videos have been flopping lately. The only reason why that video hasn't flopped of me reacting at Batman Analog Horror is because he actually shouted me out himself. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I uh, never thought someone I reacted to would uh, do that for me. And it really helped me out a lot. Thank you so much. Um, this guy deserves all the subs. Keep up this good work, because I'm going to keep reacting to this series. This is amazing. This one's called Names, 1962, Batman Analog Horror. Now, this is not FNAF related. Different days where triple reactions are based on, like, one subject, like FNAF. But this is... um. Base has two FNAF based videos and one analog horror. So, I can't wait to get into this. Let's just get to the video. I gotta stop yaffing. Um, don't trust people in the mask who they say they will do good. I probably read that the wrong. Yes, I did. Don't trust people ma in mask who say they will do good. See, I'm not good at reading shit sometimes. <laughs> okay, but let's just get into this shit. Let's get into it. It's five minutes. Mysterious caught ablaze this photo. This is a photo of the house now. Most okay, let's re pause this to read it. Most of the stuff inside the house was all destroyed except for some pictures of a family and a clock. Beyond the clock was a door that led down into a cave. The bad cave. A photo of the entrance. What type of fucking entrance is that? That's terrible. The cave underneath was huge. Oof. Oh shit. 
Now, I'm not supposed to show or tell any of the things. Uh, I'm about to tell you all because I snuck into the building myself after the police left. I went down there. There's so many things I shouldn't have. I'm, I'm gonna put on a voice act voice for this. Here's the photo of the best costume. Huh. I thought that was a big ass wing right there. That would've been cool. I discovered so many weird things. A modified card, a bunch of files of the history and specifics of Gotham. There was another list of files, a strange one, with a bunch of names. Oh, shock. My name is on there. Okay. Here's the list of names. Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Redacted, Barbara Gordon. Stephanie Brown, Kate Kane, Luke Fox, Helena, uh, Bertellini, <laughs> Jay Paul Valley, Harper Rowe, Duke Thomas. Okay. <laughs> How does he have my name and why? Also, why are the other people there? <laughs> Don't know. It's gonna whoop your ass? And <laughs> honestly, before I could gather my thoughts, I saw them. Okay. What'd you see? What is that? Are those faces? Oh, they are faces, I just realized it. Well, what happened? As soon as they saw me, I ran out of there. Not before seeing him again. Bro's gonna whoop your ass, bro. You gotta run. Okay. He didn't chase after me, though. Just stared. While I got onto my bike. I think I'm putting too much pauses in between the lines. Okay, this gives that chills through my body. And if you do that, that's when you know it's good. Now, I'm not an expert on horror and everything. But that's the thing I've been like into for a long time. Just with FNAF. I know true horror. I've seen true horror. At night, I wake up and I see the demons. The only reason why they put me in paralysis is because they know I whoop their ass, bro. Also, I've been seeing the boiled one at night, too. Except I can move. The oiled one. It looks like the police are trying to cover this up. Probably because the chief's daughter is one of the missing. You're breathing. Freaks me out a bit. They're selling everyone that. That is dead. Which they shouldn't have because crime is back up. I mean, you right? I'm going to try to leave to. Fuck. I'm going to try to leave Gotham as soon as possible. I don't want to end up like those people in the cave. What happened to him? They get laughing gas or something? <laughs> Stop. Okay. Uh, if you don't hear from me, I'm either taken or I've left the city. Missing. Timothy Drake. Last seen. 7462. Contact GCPD. If found. So he got so he went missing. You can't run away from the crack bat, no play. 
was happening. Who giggling? Don't go into the cave under Wayne Manor. Or I'll do to you what I did to the missing. I probably screwed that up so bad. No, play. <laughs> Oh shit, that's the end already? That shit was getting interesting. You just keep improving, and it just gets better and better each time. I can't wait to fucking hear the rest of this shit. Let's check your channel real quick, hold up. Let's see if you got more videos up. So that is the most recent video. I haven't reacted to these either. I should. Um, or this, I mean. Should I take a quick reaction to it right now? If what's thought to be a triple reaction turn into a, a four reaction again, quadruple reaction. Let's get to it. The Blue Boy Scout turned to God. 1962 Superman Analog Horror. Autopsy Report. Descendant Lex Luthor. Case number 1960 001. Date of birth unknown. Date of death December 16, 1962. Age approximately 45 years old. Gender male. Race Caucasian. Height 6 foot 2. Weight 190 pounds. Date of autopsy December 17th, 1962. Performed by Dr. Charles McKnighter. Dr. Midnight. Chief Medical Examiner. External examination. The body that was so well developed, well nourished, Caucasian male wearing a consistent with the. I should just stop trying to voice that right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. With the reported age of approximately 45 years old, the body weighs 190 pounds and measures 6 foot 2 in, in, in length. Um, the hair is bald, the eyes are closed, the pupils are irregular and appear to be charred. There, the bro just homelander to fuck out of him. There are no other notable deformity de <laughs> or injuries externally observed on the body. Clothing and personal effects. The descendant was closed in a bit of. Fuck, I can't speak for shit. Business suit. Now partially scorched and damaged. Indicating exposure to extreme heat. No personal effects were found on the body. Internal examination. All right. Head and central nervous system. Upon examination, the head of the, of the head. There are significant thermal injuries extending from the orbital regions. The eyes are severely damaged, with the ocular globes partially disintegrated. The optic nerves show signs of thermal coagulation. Stop! I can't stop. Uh, the brain is grossly and with focal areas of charred tissue extending into the frontal lobe. Neck. The structure of the neck are, is intact. There is no evidence of trauma of the cervical spine, neuralex, uh, <laughs> or major blood vessels. Chest and cardiovascular system. I'm surprised I said that correct. Um, the, chest, the chest wall shows no human signs of what the fuck am I talking about? Shows no signs of trauma. The heart is of normal size and weight. The coronary arteries are patient, patient, and there are no evidence to error like on the disease. The lungs are congested, but show no signs of trauma or foreign bodies. Abdomen. And the abdominal organs are in their usual anatomical positions. The liver, spleen, pancreas, and kidneys are grossly unremarkable. The, the stomach contains partially digested food, fuck, digested food material. There are no signs of trauma. Musculoskeletal. Musculoskeletal system <laughs> it shows no evidence of fractures or traumas. Toxicology. There's a lot put in this. You're a big brain, bro. Oh no, I can't. I don't even know most why I do. I do know quite a bit about body kind of. Um, samples of blood, urine, and vitreous his humor were taken for toxicology analysis. Results are pending. Cause of death. The cause of death is determined to be severe thermal injury to the brains, secondary to a laser-induced ocular trauma. The nature of the injur injuries suggests that the high energy laser being directly pressed precisely directed precisely into the eyes, causing extensive brain bleeding. I'm so fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Manner of death. The manner of death is classified as a homicide. Signature. Dr. Charles Nick Ryder. Nick Ryder. Dr. Midnight, Chief Medical Examiner, Metropolis Medical Examiner, it's off. All right, after about probably two minutes of failing to read, <laughs> let's get into this shit. All right, let's see. 1938, the year, okay. Y'all probably already read that before. He was kind, caring, and inspired. Oh. <laughs> he was kind, caring, and inspired hope in people, gave us hope. I heard that in the background, didn't you? What, what was that? Hold up. I'm gonna have an issue pausing on this. Failing. What was that? It was right there. <laughs> Sorry for my uh, skill issues, guys. Hold up. I'm so sorry about what I'm about to do to your planet. <laughs> I would love to voice act for, like, voices in analog horrors more. Cause I do it, but I don't do it much. Uh, it's just like, I, you know, I'm very, I'm very good at playing villain, despite being a very wholehearted person. But I have my opinions on many things, so I seem like an asshole. Okay. Even helped us win World War Two. Did he do all the work? That's disrespectful as fuck to say. However, more than twenty years of service in 1960, there was something. 
I don't know what that said. This led to many people viewing him not as a hero, but as a god. Oh, he let that get to his ego. Okay. A new group called the Superman of the Skyward Savior started preaching that he would return and take us to his home world. His home world's fucking destroyed. I don't know what y'all yapping about. Krypton? He's probably about to fucking homeland the fuck out of him. This, this is like Superman if he took a homeland turn, but in a more terrifying way. They were violent towards other religions. That's fucked up. They were responsible for the destruction of many churches, temples. On December 1st, 1962, he returned. This photo was taken by U.S. Air Force Base. Which way is he flying? What angle is that? A picture showing him entering what? Oh, what the f Everyone thought the Sanctum would be more public about this return. But any trace of them was gone. Okay. Crime is down ever since he came back, but he leaves a mess. The Sanctum has since been recognized under a new leader. The Superman isn't as public. You will really only see him in the skies unless he's coming to find you. <laughs> okay. I was right about him all along. The Superman is here for greater purpose than to be a hero. He's here to... I was using the telescope one night where I saw his face to see the photo. I see it. Where is it? Okay, I was expecting a jump scare, so that's why I didn't jump, but I felt it go through all my body. The, the chills were terrifying. Hold up. That shit gave me chills. Hold up. I probably let a demon into my house. <laughs> Come on. I know the song. Bros, bro think he Homelander. I'm so sorry. He basically is the better homelander. <laughs> Except he's good. Actually good. I don't want another ad to automatically play on me. <laughs> you really know how to put the chills in someone, dude. I keep forgetting your name. Sill tricks. Sill tricks. Silla tricks. Silla. Hold up. Sill tricks. So tricks. You're fucking good at this shit, man. I don't know if you're doing this on a phone or not, but this is fucking good. And I, I'm proud. This is good. Hey, look at that. Should I react to that? Just Preston. I should probably react to that. But yeah, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's reactions. Triple slap that like button. And subscribe. We're over 630 subscribers. And thank you. Oh yeah, McDonald's. Damn, this has been about a 40 minute reaction video. Probably gonna be shorter because some things are gonna be cut out and it's gonna be shortened, of course. Um, but fuck, I hate editing longer videos. But it was worth watching that fourth video. Because originally this was gonna be a triple reaction. But it was worth watching it. So, Tricks, hit me up. For what? what? What would you hit me up for? Be my friend? I like making friends. If you need voice acting, if anyone needs voice acting, just reacting. I'm right here, motherfuckers. <laughs> um, probably, probably add my Discord. Okay, I'm not. Uh, what is that? Is this a FNAF 4 closet?